Hey 2020 Power users, this is Colin and this video will show you how to do the 6 over 1 double hung like I promised. So let's begin. I will start with putting in a uh, one would think a double hung window but no I actually uh, use quite frequently I use a casement window and I'll show you how I do that in a second. So I go to windows, windows, PVC white and I uh, use the casement and then I use the split casement, which is this one right here. Uh, so this is the split casement and it has the mullions. So I'm gonna use that. For some reason this set has the same name, but it's different. So this is the one you want the fourth one down. So I'm gonna double click that and I'll place it. Now I'm using an elevation so that you can see this in real time as the mullions go in. I have my 3D turned on uh, in my elevations so that you can see that. So I'm gonna make this window 54 inches tall and as you'll see, it has the mullions in it and it just sticks them in any old way. It has a single vertical and two horizontals and it has the casement handle, but I'll show you how to deal with that. So I'm gonna say, okay. And I want this window, I'll just put it roughly here for now. I want it 36 and three, whoops. Okay, 36 is what it's gonna be. So, so let's make it 36 and I'm going to close this for now. So as you can see, it's the wrong orientation and it has a handle but I'm going to fix that pretty quickly by going to attributes. And what 2020 does is under the uh, variables tab, it's actually under the door tab, the mullions for some reason are a door attribute. So we're going to go with just a single horizontal bar. And as you can see, it changed that. Let's make this a little bigger, make this a little bigger. So now it's one and one, and we want two verticals. So now it's a six over six, very popular thing that we use here in the Northeast of the US. And so we still have that pesky handle. So what I'm going to do is go to, uh, actually you'd think it'd be under textures, but no, it's not. It's actually under window and the glass texture is here. So I could go here and do a few clicks, but I like to use um, variables. Now, earlier on in my career, I learned what a lot of the variables are, so I kind of know off the top of my head. So I'm going to change this to expressions from being able to click on buttons, and you have to kind of know the numbers. So the, the um, sorry, the uh, handle texture, here we go, sorry. So that is 8018, which I believe is white metal. So we're going to make this invisible, uh, which is 9999. So uh, I just went ahead and did that and click apply and it's gone. So now it looks like a six over six double hung window. Now another thing I like to do since they use what we term here in the Northeast either a ranch or a clamshell casing which is ugly and nobody uses it. It's only two and a half inches wide. You can go into your frame and I'm going to turn expressions back off so that we can have our choices. Okay so the frame construction um, I'm going to show you frame type number two which is a which is a uh, uh, yeah, a plinth block with a fluted casing, and uh, or you can go to number three, which is uh, actually as a, a pediment on the window, which is uh, fairly popular in higher end homes, uh, but it still has just that normal casing. So if I show you two, it gives gives it a little bit more visual interest, and then we can make that three and a half inches wide, which is a little bit more common. So there is a little bit better window, better looking double hung window, six over six. Now, we actually want this to be six over one and changing any of these variables applies it to both upper and lower sash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to door and I'm going to turn off mullions in both directions. So vertical and horizontal. So we have just a single, just a one over one. And I'm going to say, okay, so there it is in our elevation view. Now in order to add the six lights to the upper, um, I actually fool it and I use a mullion architectural window. So openings and obstacles, windows, PVC white, and architectural windows, I use square, and then I use the mullions. So here we go, we can place that and any old size will do. I'm going to keep it at 24 high. I'm just going to say okay. 
I stick it there and any old width is fine. So what I want to do is find out roughly what the glass area is of this window. So I'm going to use my custom dimensions and I'm going to go to this outer part of the glass. Click outer part of the glass here and click. Now after you've done this a few times, you'll probably get a good feel for what it is and it, you don't have to be super accurate. But uh, the first few times you'll want to just give a quick measurement. So then we want the height. So we have a, a glass area of 28 and 3 quarters by 19 and a quarter. So I'm going to go over here and just apply them to here as well so that we can figure out roughly what our glass area is here. So this one's 27 and 3 eighths by 20, 20. Okay, so um, we're pretty close on the height. I'm not even going to mess with that, I don't think. Uh, and we're just need another inch width on the on the width. So I'm just going to call it inch. I'm going to add inch and three eighths to this. So I'm going to go in here, attributes, and I'm just going to go another inch and one, two, three, four, five, six, three eighths. So the overall window ends up 32 and three quarters. Now we need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. What I want to have resulting here is I want to have just the mullions left visible. So what I'm going to do is go into variables and I'm going to use that. I'm going to turn on expressions and again I'm going to go into the textures and I'm going to do the horizontal textures 9999, vertical textures 9999, uh, insert texture we want to leave alone and I'm also going to go to window and do the glass texture at 9999. So all we have left is the mullion. So then the mullion is not the right configuration. So what I want to do is I can go in here and even though I'm still in expressions, I can tap, type in the number that I want. So I want um, one horizontal and two vertical. So there, there we have it. So when I say OK, there is just the mullion. Um, 2020 is really good about stuff like this, even in floor plans and elevations. So what I want to do is we're going to uh, defy the laws of physics. Two items will be occupying the same space at the same time, but that's OK. Uh, especially in this instance, there's no cabinets or countertops or moldings involved. So I'm going to drag this over to here, and now I have to hold down the control key so that it, they will, they will, it will break the, it will break the plane. So I've got that fairly centered. I'm going to right click, and it's not letting me do it. So I'm going to just place it with my left click. I'm going to go back in, click up and down, hold down control again. So I'm going to pretty much eyeball it there, and. I'm going to hold down shift so that it doesn't, so I'm going to hold down control and shift together so that it does not snap to anything. And there it is. So we've taken one window and overlaid it on another window, but we've used just the mullion from that window. Now there are probably two or three other workarounds that could do something similar. This happens to be mine. Uh, feel free to use it. If you have any questions at all, let me know. So let me just show you what this looks like. So actually I already have a I already have a, uh, a window. Oh, I don't have a window open. Okay. So I will go ahead and open a new window, perspective window. And uh, I, I use an, I'm i using a, I have, don't have this catalog, this cabinet catalog installed right now. So it looks really weird. Uh, so just ignore the cabinets. But I just want to show you in a, in a 3D perspective view that it is, in fact, a 6 over 1. So I hope this helps. I hope you're able to implement this in your designs. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them inside the group. I'm also going to be posting this on, on YouTube just to kind of host the video and uh, also on my blog site. Um, so any of those places, feel free to, uh, to hit me up with any questions. See you guys inside the group. Bye-bye.